Okay, cool. We are starting. And... One moment. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> so I played around with volume settings. Let's get out of the home screen, because the home screen has very loud music. I played around with the volume settings because I was listening to the last stream, and I feel like whenever the voices come on in the game, the voices sound so quiet. And yet, when I listen to the recordings, the music seems like it's as loud as my voice. So I played with the settings, I lowered the music, I upped the voice volumes for the voice actors. I hope it sounds better this stream. We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, I think this is because Celia's on a break today. Celia is a free fox girl. There must be a way to track him down. We have quests. I know we have quests. I believe it is the start of a new day, but I don't remember them all. Okay, something happened. I was about to check my quests, but this is a fun start to the day as well. A flash of lightning on a sunny day. Isn't that how Taya arrived here? That's right. We all look at the guild's door, but it stays closed. Did Meow not hear the thunder's roar? Do you think someone else arrived here? Most likely. Are we not going to tell Taya? Not unless it's necessary. Not unless it gets her closer to her goal. Let's go to the Elder Tree. I have a hunch we'll find our visitor there. That's kind of sweet. Being thoughtful not to... I assume she doesn't want to overstress Taya if it's nothing. Hello, pig. Goodbye, pig. I believe if it's not... Yes, yes it is. I was going to say if it's not here, it's the other panel over. Well, this feels familiar. Smoke rises from the roots of the elder tree, and the young woman lying at its foot, but nothing caught fire. I'll make something for the scorch marks on her arms. Sunny takes out her mortar and some ingredients. What kind of clothes are those? They're unusual, you're right. Sunny applies a salve on the girl's arms. There. Oh, that's Sunny. There. How is she still sleeping? Oh, it's quite early. Fortunately, I know just the trick. I should poke her or shake her. I mean, shaking would be more effective, but poking just sounds cute. Eek! <laughs> she wakes up suddenly and scrambles to her feet. Her eyes are a beautiful marriage of silver and brown. Uh, hola? Salut? Oh god, I don't speak German. Auf... Waiter Sehen? I think it's German. I probably mispronounced that. I hope you speak something I can understand. We speak common, just like you. She sighs in relief. Then her eyes start to wander on our many assets. I can't tell if I'm at a feast or hooters. Whatever it is, whichever it is, I have no complaints. That sounded like a compliment. We're part of the five girls, one ghost. The way your beautiful white hair mixes with the soft sunlight. My heart just skipped a beat. Name's Bella Rose, a traveler through universes and time. I kind of caused a planet to blow up on my last trip, but no worries. I won't do none of that here. Hmm, what's this on my arm? A salve. I don't see any scars, so it worked perfectly. Sunny made it herself. This is Reniel, our muscle. I'm the muscle? The heart is a muscle as well. Aww. And I'm Vera, humble servant of the burning fire of passion. May I ask you, where are you from? Born and raised? Darn it, ice! I thought I should give her a southern accent, but I'm like, no, I don't know where she's from. I should have given her a southern accent. I should have just gone with my gut. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. We're gonna do it. I'll just give her like a slight twang, I guess. I just, I love the southern accent. There's a part of me that's like, I want to do it for her, but oh man, <laughs> if only I'd known. I mean, Kentucky's like on the northern end of the south, but it's still the south in my mind. All right. Born and raised in beautiful Kentucky. Though judging by your clothes and Blondie's elf ears, this ain't Kentucky. Gosh darn it, she even has the ain'ts and whatever. I should have just gone with my gut from the beginning. London, Rowlanouche, and Kentucky. 
three different worlds. Scratch that. These are my clothes. Damn it, they changed again. These look rustic. So punk. They look great on you. When Belle's eyes fall on the elder tree, she whistles. Jeez, this tree is huge. Talk about morning wood gone wrong. From that to enjoying nature. Funny how things work out. You mentioned leaving some destruction in your wake. You're not here to endanger the kingdom, are you? It wasn't my fault. Okay, maybe it was, but I didn't do it with bad intent. Promise you'll stay close to us? Very close and personal, so we can make sure nothing blows up. How could I possibly refuse you three gorgeous ladies such as... She suddenly looks around. Hold on, I have I had a partner. She's my twin. Did she land nearby? We didn't see anyone else on the way. We can help you find each other. Our first step is Morven. Let's go. Hmm? What's this on the ground? Belle, this was under you. That explains the bruise I feel on my shin. And no, before you ask, I have never seen that amulet before. It's warm to the touch. May I? Sunny gently touches the stone of the amulet, and it glows softly. I assume their partner's southern, I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> I can't believe we got separated again. How does that even work? Alice, it's Alice. Hey, can you hear me? This place seems awfully well off. If I had any complaints, it would be the fact that I'm a goddamn animal again. Again? She was a crow beforehand. <clears throat> hey, don't stare at me like that. I didn't turn her into an animal. Why did I have to be cursed like this? <sighs> On the upside, I'm in... She's a... Uh... It stopped working. I take it in my hands. Doesn't this look like an advanced teleball? If Taya could hear you right now. At least we know that we should look for an animal, not a person. I hope she's okay. She gets in even more trouble than I do, and that's saying something. What is Celia doing outside? Well, ain't this a little quaint hut? I love it. You're remarkably collected. When Kitty arrived, she was anything but. Well, it doesn't do any good, Ed. Doesn't do anyone any good to panic. For me, it's better to stay calm and... Is that... A cat girl? Fox girl. She jumps in front of Celia. How... What are you... I don't know you, but I already love you. Dear, are you drooling? <laughs> Such luscious hair. Cute furry ears, ample breasts, and a bazonga of an ass. Say, why don't we skip the wedding and go straight to the honeymoon? Weren't you saying something about calm and collected? I don't mind. So, do you meow? Wait, you're a fox. Mm. What does the fox say? She grins at the question. The fox would like to know what's going on. Only if you promise not to tell Taya. She's too busy watching the poor carpenter like an apex predator. Why? She must be afraid of getting something stolen. I don't know, I'm not her. Anyway, you were saying? We tell Celia about Belle and her missing twin. You did the right thing, not telling Thea about these other visitors. If she knew, she would hurt. Yes, and she's already pretty mopey when you girls are not around. Really? A secret for a secret. You've been quiet, Belle. Slightly worried. Okay, lots of worried. Alice is my twin, after all. What if she's a fish and gets cooked? Or, uh, scrap that. I do not want to think about it. I would offer you a massage, but someone barred me from entering my parlor. Yeah, I'd kill for a... What? 
I am a masseuse, certified professional and highly interested in experimenting. Do you do special massages? Of course, each and every one of them are tailored specifically to the needs of the client. Oh my, yes and yes. I'll be lying down undressed and tired while oil drips from your fingers as you caress my back. Sweet sounds escape my lips, small and quiet, until all of a sudden... Too much information. I hate to interrupt, but... Sunny shows us the amulet we found with Belle. Oh, it's silent now. It's showing something. Looks like it's showing us what she sees. Oh, that's a sigh. I almost said it. First person never works. Too wobbly. Anybody recognize the place? Looks like that scummy build and craft stall in the capital. The one we visited for the amulets against charm. To Northwood, then. Celia, do you mind keeping Belle company? Always happy to help. I'm not one for quickies, but we'll be back in a flash. Hey, let me come. I can fight if needed. I have my gun with me, and... Oh, jeezy, pates out of ammo. Huh? Where did they all go? <laughs> Just ditch her. Nice. I'm trying not to make her accent too thick. I want to try making her twin thicker. We'll see if it translates. I was sure I had extra ammo magazines with me. Oh, interesting. We can't go in the house. You go save Bill's twin. I'll handle her. God, there's so many accents in the game. <laughs> but I do love accents. It's really fun practice for me. All right. So, teleportation crystals, twin tastic, which we just got. We met another visitor. Her name is Belle, and she is from Kentucky. She was separated from Alice, her twin. She seemed to be roaming the capital's market plaza. Perhaps we should visit the crafting station. Okay. So go to the capital. We have been invited to join one of Osteria's exhibition matches. Let's show the adoring. Oh, I think this is the stadium. As always, send people to Rosedale, visit our friends in Siena, Siena. And we still need to find an accessory for Bunny Girl, which I th thought we had, but I guess we'll keep looking. For now, I guess we'll go to... Actually, I kind of want to do the Ringmaster one first. Wisteria Ringmaster. Wait. I feel like I should go shopping first. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see, we have potion, we have super potion, we have actually, maybe we have enough items for now. Oh, wait, I don't think we have salt. Do we have salt? Ah, uh, okay. Let's see, I think we have enough for the, the arena. All right. Man with suspicious exclamation mark. Sorry, we're sold out. We're not here for a seat. We are the five girls, one ghost. We have been invited to the exhibition match. Ha! Huh. This should be good. You ready to get in there, or do you need to prepare first? Let's fight! Good luck. You'll need it. Wow. The arena is packed with spectators. Smile, girls. We're here to entertain. That's a lot of people watching us. Do you need a tonic for the nerves? I'll be fine once the fight starts. The gate in front of us opens and silence quickly falls upon among the spectators. Curious. Once our opponent enters, I understand the reason behind the reverent silence. Golden wings frame the luscious, curvy body of what must be a goddess. She raises one arm to wave, and the silent movement of her wrist, with dignified restraint, makes the audience erupt with cheers. Once her arm lowers, so does the volume of the spectators. I bore my best curtsy, and Reniel and Sunny follow. Greetings, I am Vera of the Five Girls, One Ghost. 
and I am Reniel. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Sunny is my name. Will we be fighting you? Our opponent covers a chuckle of delight with a hand. I don't know what to give her voice. I'll read it normal for now. We offer you the warmest welcome. I am High Queen Mother Eridice of Kikamari. A queen? I am not familiar with the place she speaks of. They must be knowing that we are quite excited to observe what metal this realm can muster against our newest darling, Gami, and our loyal agent, Rumi. We believe this trial will be sufficient to prove the merit of induction, so do be pleased to bear the grin of hardship that their kind is so known for. Two ladies enter the arena from the same door. They are smaller than Eridice, Eridice. I've seen this name, but I'm now stuck on the pronunciation, Eridice, and keep the heads bowed in deference. Many are the world who have been spoken of their exploits. Many are the words, that makes more sense. Many are the words that have been spoken of their exploits, but we desire a truer demonstration of their soul. As the bard weaves tales with lute and song, they are known to enthrall with the blood, the sweat, and the lust. This is the thing we will see from them. One of the women is carrying a barbed spear. It looks like it will hurt. With pieces set, the swarm of conflict may begin. Okay, these, I guess we're fighting her two underlings first. I thought we were going to fight three at once. Let's not jinx it, that might just happen. Let's- oh, wow, they have lots of health. Let's go for Gami first, which is slightly less. Oh boy, maybe I should have bought more items first. Shoot. This looks rough. I don't know, I feel like I should just wallop Gami as much as we can. Leave Renny all alone. Hmm. Yes, we should heal. We fight. Weaker. Cool. That sucks. <laughs> Can we please stun you? <laughs> We can't put them to sleep. I'm gonna be real annoyed if this doesn't work. Okay, thank you. Let's let's see. Dehabilitating. Let's lower their maybe defense resistance. Oh, huh, weakens one enemy. Interesting. Well, hmm, actually. If we're trying to specifically target Gammy, let's just focus on Gammy right now. <laughs> and I think we can afford to charge. And then... I mean, I only really need to heal Reniel. I guess I can use an item. Let's see how that goes. And now, let's... Let's see... Hmm, I wonder what would be good against bugs. Fire just always seems like a good go-to. Well, let's do electricity for now. This is going to hurt. Not bad. Alright. <laughs> oh man, I thought... Renio was gonna stay charged up. I thought maybe because she leveled up, she got to hold the charge longer. That's okay. <laughs> Ooh, she's enchanted now. Let's see, heal. Mm, 
let's charge again. You can do it. And now let's naughty slap. You've been naughty. Mm. Ah, cool, she missed. Oh, she stunned me, okay. <laughs> I mean, at least she didn't hurt her, but she did stun her. Let's see. Should we... Debuff... Let's debuff both of them. Don't you like this? Man. Vera, wake up. Vera, wake up. Dude, why? Vera, wake up. I need some help here. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can't maybe stun her <laughs> or take her out. Ooh, nice. Okay. Uh, we'll use a super potion. Our wrath will scorch the skies. What did that just do? Hmm. Okay. Dude, why do you get to go twice? Why? Let's see. Healing herbs restore the party. This will help. Nice. Okay. Mm, we'll see about this one. I'm ready. Wow. Okay. That was very subtle. <laughs> Yay, she's charmed. Okay. Let's do another debilitating. This one's just a good go to. Lowers defense and resistance. <laughs> and let's see. Let's. I don't know, Renny Allen has so much MP, I feel like we should just use it up. Uh Ooh, this one. Take this. Now the naughty slap. How naughty. Alright. Our wrath will scorch the sky. Doing alright for now. Cool, she has to go twice. I need to heal up. Restore the party. This will help. Even if we don't stun, this one still does a pretty decent amount of damage. How naughty. Please don't do it again. No! Reniel, please live. Reniel, live, 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 live. I need to heal up. Oh, just barely. Okay, wow. <laughs> oh, whoops. No, 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 no. Healing. Seriously, we can't do the heal party again? Ay, ay, ay. Does this do the whole party? Huh. Please heal decently. This will help. I'm a little confused what that just did. But we're gonna use potions now. <laughs> and... Sunny, please live. I feel like I need to take advantage of Naughty Slap when I can. You've been naughty. Just Don't like die, Sunny. That. Oh, there we go. Nice. Wow, they got a lot of XP for that. The audience is going crazy, but even our bruises have bruises. The encore they keep asking for will have to wait. We have been greatly pleased by the viciousness and expertise displayed in their swarming. Such demonstrations are worthy of a litany of the word songs. 
Our Rumi and our Gami are thankfully humbled by the beauty and grace of their movements and will now be brought the gift of wisdom earned through the defeat. Thank you. Your attendants were tough. I think I need a drink. I thought you didn't drink. Alcohol is a sure disinfectant. Your Highness, I thank you for this opportunity on behalf of the whole guild. Sunny tilts her head. Or is your majesty more appropriate? We are not fully appreciative of the speech they have developed, but we are not to be addressed as a ruler of lands and the people. We are... Eridus, I think is how you say her name, begins to emit a melodious buzzing with her attendants, akin to a song. I see their expressions change. They must be talking among themselves. One of her attendants steps forward. Our discussion has concluded that High Queen Mother Eridice is similar but not identical to what they call a deity. Mother is most appropriate if High Queen Mother Eridice addresses you directly. This is bothering me. I'm going to check how to pronounce Eridice. Okay, Google, please tell me how to pronounce... I mean, maybe it varies by culture. Eurydice. Eurydice. Okay, thanks, Google. God, this is bothering me. <laughs> Mother is most appropriate if High Queen Mother Eurydice addresses you directly. We believe this term should hold the proper degree of reverence and affection they should hold for High Queen Mother Eurydice, or perhaps Mistress. Please accept the apology that their language does not contain the proper level of the nuance to give me the proper respect. We really do love the pretty sounds they can make, especially when they endure and exert themselves so eagerly, such as during the swarm. We are interested in discovering what other pretty sounds they can make. Such a display deserves comparable reward. We welcome them into our hive on the merits of the swarm and grant them our support in lieu of our protection so that they may carry out our will in this world. We look forward to further word songs of their exploits. I wonder what our reward is. You received Monku Strike Team Beacon. We curtsy again. We are gr very grateful for your assistance. Do not become the prey to that which you are to hunt. Lassies, I can't believe it. Call me Felicia and whip me till Sunday. You won! Wasn't really counting on that. So I don't have a reward at hand. I hope you live for the applause. I love the little frustrated squiggle above Vera's head. I just realized, is this... Our little resting area. We question its reason for being here. We think it should be on its way. Cool, so we did that quest. Uh, where do we need to go next? Let's see. Uh, Twintastic. We have to go to the city of... Uh, capital doesn't tell us the name but I know where it is on the map all right nope I'm going this way I'm trying to go up okay there we go Northwood there we go So, we suspect it's in the market area. If it isn't my favorite shifty crafter, Esmeralda, this amulet seems to be malfunctioning. Hold on. Alright. For anyone who has impeccable memory, there are so many side characters. I probably changed the voice for slightly when we get to them. All right. Huh? Let me have a look at it. 
I see. It needs a bit more juice. The vendor over there has some enchanted honey that could do the trick. My, thank you. Sunny takes the amulet in her hands. We are not going to buy the enchanted honey. It's probably being sold for thousands a jar. I refuse to be scammed again. Didn't the bears at the crossroads feed on some special honey? I remember they could cast spells too. Bears can't cast spells unless they become somehow infused with mana. Their honey is our best bet then. I just realized I don't think I've actually fought the bears on stream. I think there was one stream I had to like redo off camera because like I forgot to save or something. So like I kept the stream up, but I played it again off camera. And off stream, I believe I fought the bears. But now you guys get to see them on screen. Look how fat he is, the chubby little bear. He's so cute. Want to have some fun? Okay. Look how happy he is. I'm sorry, we just need your honey. <laughs> Also, if he drops matted fur, we actually do need matted fur. <laughs> it's very useful for our mixes. Might as well gather. This is I'm an sure easy-ish fight. Something. Hmm. It's not very useful against one enemy. Yeah, I guess we'll heal so she got hurt. <clears throat> How naughty. Such a cute bear. I feel kind of bad. Like, we're just <laughs> messing with him, and he's like, I just want to eat my honey. We just need a little bit of honey. Oh, what? Cool. I didn't realize I can summon. Maybe we should still target the bear. I don't know, man. <laughs> didn't realize I can summon. I still want to gather. I'm sure I can find I mean, it's definitely harder now that there's two enemies, but gathering is very useful. Oh my god, stop. Okay, stop. Stop, bear. Stop. Okay, you know what? We just need to get rid of this bear now. Bear! Stop! I don't think it can summon anymore. I think the highest number of enemies we can fight is three. But this is still too much. Oh, but come on, now I need to take advantage that it's charmed. How naughty. Oh wow, we can get rid of this guy. After healing, so I don't die. Ha! Okay, let's see. Bear be gone! Come on. I need to heal myself. Leave Sunny alone. Okay, this should get rid of this guy. You've been naughty. Just like that. Nice. Okay. Heal yourself. Okay. I'm like, don't summon another one. I wish there was a way to increase the probability of stunning. Because it seems very rare that Reniel actually stuns an enemy with that. Yeah, I'm 
might as well heal again. So close. I need to heal up. Leave Sunny alone. Come close. Cool. Okay. Wait, it just ran away. We better still get honey if it ran away. We better have left honey behind. This might also be like the quest where we had to get acid from flowers and it took like three flowers until they dropped one. So we'll find out. Whatever, just gather. I'm sure I can find something. Then Reniel should be next. Yes. Nice. Oh, we did get honey. Okay. This enchanted honey is what we need for the amulet. Let's go back to the build and craft stall. Let's. Whoops, that is not a teleportation stone. I think I was watching a friend play The Witcher recently where you do go to the crossroads signs to fast travel. And in my mind, I'm like, yes, just go to the sign. <laughs> All right, where am I going? To Northwood, yes. There we go. Here's the honey, dear. Ho ho! I'll fix the amulet straight away. Here it is, the speediest service for premium clients. Sunny taps on the amulet. She's a kitty. I may be a cat, but I've claws sharp enough to kill you. Who is she talking to? And where is she? I could have just run away. Forget that twin of mine, get adopted, be unconditionally loved. A rainy place. All I'd have to do is never speak again. Just a few meows and yeah. She fell. She's in the rotting woods, in the swamp. I'll go get Belle. You girls go on ahead. We look all over the rotting woods for Alice. Alice! Belle. Such a fluffy kitty. So cute. Did that precious little thing cause all this carnage? Come on, Alice. We gotta get out of here. There's a fox girl named Celia who I think will give me a massage. Belle. She's got a tail and ears like you, but the pink really works for her. Not saying that white doesn't suit you, but you need more fluff. Oh, don't say that. She's perfect as she is. Careful, her tail is flicking. Gotta say, though, you're so much cuter as a cat than a mangy bird. If you play nice with everyone, I'll buy you a... Shut the hell up, close your mouth, and open your ears! Rude. I only killed two of these things. Mm. If you couldn't tell by the web on them, it was a spider that killed them. I recommend exposing critical pieces of information, like the presence of a monster, as soon as possible, for future reference. What the hell are you doing here, then? Me? Oh, I'm bait. A giant spider crawls out of one of the holes in the ground. That looks mean. Bugs. Uh. <laughs> Pewy. Small fry. Now let's get Nora and or Beth. Shoot it! Wait, I guess are those the names of her guns? I'm confused who Nora and Beth are. I w okay, I guess they are the guns. I would and I should, but no ammo. Allow us then. Fiend, your days are numbered. Five girls, one ghost, to the rescue. Be careful. Oh, three spiders, cool. All right. 
Huh, which one should we target? Maybe the guards first? Yeah, they're like half the health of the queen. And they are still very durable. Cool. Wasn't expecting another boss-like fight so quickly. Oh boy. Oh man, they are stubborn. Cool. Mm, fire on a spider? Sounds like it should be effective. I need this just for you. Yes, miss. I should have healed. Because, of course, I'm going to want to take advantage of the naughty slap. And Sunny can't do anything, it looks How like. Naughty. Miss. I need to heal myself. That sucks. Okay. We only have normal smelling salts now. Um, I guess just a regular heal. And of course, the naughty slap. How naughty! Just like that. Stop rapping. You suck. Uh, let's use a potion on Vera. I'm going to have tea. It might dry my throat. Oh, come on. Just a warning, it might dry my throat out. But I really want tea. Okay, it's tea in a can. I'm pleasantly surprised that canned tea, like canned green tea, actually tastes pretty nice. Like, I love making my own tea, but I occasionally will get canned green tea and it is just a nice little treat. Okay, what should we do? Um, I think we're okay. To, oops. Let's try this one. There we go. Ooh, nice. That was a good hit. Um, that might take it out. Ah, oh, not quite. Thank you for missing. Uh, let's see. Defense resistance. Sure. We're gonna move on Don't to another you like one. This? What? It doesn't affect the guards? Why? I thought that was like the I'm one thing that just affects everything. Great. What the frick? Thank you. Can you not? I need to heal up. Okay. Um. Shoot. Okay. Well, at least one guard's gone, but. Ha! <laughs> okay, we need to bring Vera back. And after this battle, we need to buy so many more salts. No, not enchant. I need you to heal everyone just a little bit. Let me help you. Can you not? What the frick? Can you do a group heal? You can. Okay. Oh, cool. I think the bear did drop matted fur because I remember I couldn't group heal a while back. Okay, let's see here. Oh boy, you have not been impacted. <laughs> Stop. I need to heal myself. Dude, we can't heal like the party again. Fortifying. Okay, we'll just 
heal individually. I still don't quite know what replenishes, like, the categories of spells or mixes she can do. And I want to take advantage of it being charmed, but I need Vera to heal. Because Vera is the only one who can group heal now. Let me help you. Stop. Miss. Why? Whatever. Okay. Maybe I'll charge this time. I can do it. You've been naughty. Oh boy. Running out of juice. There we go. <clears throat> oh, interesting. The queen's charmed now, but I still want to target one at a time. Dude! The frick! Okay, why did I not see the health bar go down? I don't like that I didn't see the health bar go down. Although I assume I got rid of some of its health. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> nullify. Yes, charmed. Beautiful. Okay. Um. Oh, wait, no. I want to take advantage of the charm with Naughty Slap. You've been naughty. Stop. That's not fun. Okay. <laughs> I love the chase. Get in there. Miss. Or not, okay. Let's see. Works on one target. I guess we'll try electricity or water. We haven't done white fat yet. We'll see what white fat does. This is going to hurt. Oh wow, that was very effective. Nice. All right. Mm, let's. What should we do? Let's see. I hope we can put it to sleep. Please go to sleep. Thank you. Okay. Well, let's see. Elemental primer. Sticky. Wait. White fat just deals damage. It doesn't even have a type of damage. It worked well on the guard, so let's hope it does well on this guy. What a clever breed. Oh no, I woke up! No! Why? Okay, you need to take a potion. Can you fall asleep again, please? I didn't mean to wake you up. Shoot, why does going to sleep only work like one time? From what I've been noticing in battles, it seems like it only works one time. Okay, it works on... let's see. One target. See how electricity damage would go. I made this just for you. Alright, not bad. Mm, let's charge up. Go, go, go! Much as I want to do Naughty Slap, we need to heal. Ouch. Mm, let's heal. Huh? Um, 
slash him. And here we go. How naughty. Um, let's do another mix mix. Let's try water down. Water doesn't sound like it would do a lot, but I suppose it's still yeah, did like average amount of damage. Oh wow, Renio. Oh boy. Please don't die on this. Guess I might as well. Heal us up again. Okay. Let's see. I know it says multiple targets, but I can do it 32 times. Might as well take advantage what a of the amount of times I can use that one. Aw oh, man, it does such little damage though. Okay, Renia, when is that poison gonna- Really? They're all poisoned? <sighs> okay, I'll wait till Sunny's turn and see if I can unpoison them all. Ay ay ay. It's our last potion, but we're so close to the end. Okay, let's see here. I feel like I should just max out our healing so then Sunny can afford to get rid of the poison effect. Okay. Hmm. Shoot, I thought might have been under the healing option, which we don't have anymore. Cool. Okay. Well, we can't get rid of the poison because I think that was under healing, which is not an option right now. Ay ay ay. Okay. Let's just do water again because we don't really use sticky food for going much. To hurt. Nice. Oh boy, Reniel, stop dying. Okay, like of all people that need it, why is Reniel so susceptible to poison? Okay. Let me help you. Dude, she's poisoned again! Reniel, stop! Take it out, come on, man, we're so close to the end. Get him! Get him! Oh, we're alive! Oh, they all leveled up! Nice! Huh? Where did they go? Reniel, any footprints? Mmm. I think Belle picked up Alice and started running. She left without saying goodbye. Oh. Let's follow the footprints and see where they lead. After you. Celia is tinkering with a box. Have you seen Belle anywhere? Not after you came to pick her up, no. However... When I came back from the tavern's happy hour special, I found this box in front of the door. Is the lock broken? No, I simply don't have the key or nails long enough to pick it. With a smile, Sunny places her finger on the keyhole. Look, a seagull! The others look up to the sky, but I know better. Her glove barely conceals the blue glow of her manner reshaping itself to form a key. Where? Oh, you opened it. Let's see what's inside. There's a letter inside, written on a strange kind of paper. White and lightweight. That's a long letter. Oh, it's from the sisters. Hello, Vera and Reniel and Sunny and Celia, too. Belle and Alice here with a little note for your eyes only. Or you can share. Really, it doesn't matter. So anyway, hmm. Writing a letter is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Well, for now, I wanted to apologize. Sorry for leaving without properly saying goodbye. 
If we had a choice, we would have loved to stay longer and hang out with you guys. Sunny is such a sweet and innocent angel. Reniel is energetic, and I would have loved to play outside with her. Really, you guys were so fun. The time we spent together, no matter how small, was precious to us. We'll always have you guys in our hearts. And who knows, maybe we'll be back one day. Until then, here's your actual reward. One beautiful amulet. I got it from that skittish guy next door. Wally? Walter? Waldo? Whatever. <laughs> had to trade a few materials I had on me, but it was worth it. Now, go give it to that special second half of yours. Love, Belle, and Alice. Aww. It's a lovely letter. The amulet inside the box is shaped like a key. Quest completed, you received keen key necklace. It's beautiful. Thank you. My words can't reach them, but I hope they know that they will always be welcome here. Hmm, interesting. I thought they would stick around longer. Interesting. I'm curious. So there is those Kentucky sisters and then the slime girl from last time. Who, slime girl went back to her world, but it would be curious if these characters if they don't physically come back if they come back in story later it is interesting the number of girls from other worlds we've been coming across and it's only those three besides Taya but it's still interesting all right let's save I'll play a little more but I just want to save for now and oh wow is that all we technically had for the day all right I guess we'll wrap up by visiting our friends in Siena, Siena. Hmm. I mean, a lot happened in the day. There were just fewer quests in number than usual. Oh yes, I do believe there's a vendor actually who sells the good salts. I forgot if it's here or in the stout. Let's see. Tell me if you need anything. Okay, I think it's the stout. They sell the stronger salts. We'll go there in just a moment. Ooh, our free tip of the day. Here's your daily tip. The venom of some spiders hurts you more and more as the battle progresses. What's worse, if you attempt to dispel it, it spreads. Come back tomorrow for your next tip. That's probably what was happening to Reniel, because wow, Reniel was getting walloped by that poison. Alrighty. Five girls, one ghost. Allo, allo. Here's a little something from me. I hope you will find it useful. Come back tomorrow for more. Nice. What do you want today? Fertilizer. She wants sticky goo and dehabilitating herbs. Let me see how much I have of each. Sticky goo, dehabilitating herbs. Let's keep those. I was using my sticky glue a little, but we don't tend to use it as much, so. I will give you sticky goos. I will give you more sticky goos, because I want money. No! No, 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 no! I meant to give you the goo! Oh, I, oh, I got an achievement. A good cause. <laughs> I meant to give you the goo! Ay ay ay. I don't think I use dehabilitating herbs that much either, but I didn't mean to get rid of those. <laughs> but at least I was compensated for my loss. Okay. Let's just teleport to the stout. Wait. Free herbs. No. Oh my god. Okay, I can't click or else it goes off screen. There we go. Oh my god, why does the game just assume when I click near there that I want to go there? You're a bunny girl, do you love it? <laughs> Welcome, sure. I was hoping she had a tip on what the bunny girl upstairs might want. Did you sell the salts? I didn't think so. I 
Aha. Uh -huh. Scented salts. Okay. Expensive salts. But useful salts. Let's see. Fine to spell herbs. Interesting. Two, two. Maybe I'll do. So exp Oh god. I right, whatever. <laughs> ah, I was gonna browse more, and of course my finger slipped. Have we spoken to you? Wait, there's a. Has there always been a basement? I don't think I've been down there. I don't think I've been down here. Personnel only. Well, now I'm curious. A note. There's a treasure map on the table. Let's take a look. I've seen that place before. I think. I wonder what's buried there. Finders keepers. We can come back and give another look at the map if we need it. I look at it again. At first I- oh my god. Look at it longer. Look at it longer! I guess that's the point of the game, to like... I think that's where the dragon's- I wish it stayed longer. I think that's where the dragon's room outside of the stout. Okay. We'll go there in just a moment. Oh, interesting. We can't go in these apartments. They're so cute, though. Well, I want that treasure now. I'm very curious about the personnel only place. Okay. Just curious if the bunny girl will give us any tip at all. I assume if it's in my inventory, she'd see it. Like. Key items. It's a key item. What does that mean? And how do I use it? A beautiful blue feather that feels strange. I don't know how to use this item. Like, for sure, I'm like, this must be what she wants, but I don't even know how to use it. Hmm. Have we spoken to this person? How much of a power move would it be if I wore one of those bunny suits inside here? I'd probably get escorted off the premises. <laughs> okay, I think we have spoken to that person. Uh, I'm trying to think what an accessory would be. Alright, well let's try getting that treasure. Oh, I think it's that tree like right in front of us. Herbs. More free herbs. No, leave me alone. I think it's supposed to be right here. This is the spot marked on the map. Reniel has been digging for a while, but we only found a small wooden box with some roots inside. I think the roots are the treasure. I can't find anything else. We should bring them to the lovely fern. I wonder what plant they will turn into. Oh, nice. It brings us straight there. Hello, hello. You two are as lovely as ever. We have some new roots for you. Sunny gives fern the treasure we found. Hydrangea roots. They are often misunderstood, but hydrangeas are great listeners and give plantastic advice. I can't wait to see them in the glade. Likewise, thank you for bringing them to us. Cute. I doubt they've grown already, but... Oh, wow, they have. They're so cute. Fun fact, I believe it's hydrangeas change color based on the pH of the soil. Meaning the pH in this corner is different from this, but sometimes even the same bush will have different colors or variations of like a shade of a color based on the pH. I think that's really cool. Anyhow, we now have hydrangeas in the garden. 
I think that's all we can really do for today. I'm trying to think if I can use the casino. Let me just take a glance real quick. If I can use the casino to make money by trading in for items to sell. Let me see what the prizes are again. Um, trade tokens for items. Although that's just a useful one. I think it permanently buffs a health. Rainbow gummy. I mean, this just seems useful to buy anyway. I don't know if I can sell it. I'd be curious to see if I can sell it, although it's just such a useful item. I'd prefer using it. Let's see. Would you perhaps buy it? What would it be under? Oh no, they wouldn't buy it. Interesting. How much would I get for that? Oh, like a hundred. Oh, I'll save it for now. I keep forgetting I have that orange juice thing. Ah. Okay, yes, here. Let's see. Wait, what? Can I just not use it indoors? I could have sworn that was what I used a while back to increase someone's health. I see state heart, meaning a charm. Shoot. That's not what I thought it was. It'll be interesting to use that, though, and see how efficient it is, but... I thought I was buying something different. Whatever, I'll use it in our future battles. It'll still be useful. Okay. I don't think I can really profit off the casino, ironically enough. so happy. How's it going? Not bad, and you? We still have some things to do. We'll be back in time for dinner. Do we still have things to do? <laughs> I think we've done everything we can. No, I want the grimoire. Send people to Rosedale. If anything, I might just go fight a few foxes real quick before calling it a day. Because I do need fur. Okay. Let's see here. Eh, I think I'll avoid these guys. I don't think they really drop anything I need. Okay, I do remember there were some free herbs next to the tree. I didn't get those last time. Okay. Fight me. Fight me. Let's see here. Go, go, go. Charm. I haven't paid attention if enemies level up with us. I'm sure I can find something. I feel like the wolves have slightly more health than they used to. Actually, I don't know, maybe not. Doesn't quite look like it now. You've been naughty. Just like that. Did a lot of damage. Sean. I guess I'll throw a rock. Uh -huh. Whoa, got him with the rock. I got one matted fur. I was hoping I'd get more. There's 
one more wolf. Is there anything up here? Anything changed? There's a wolf up there too. I suppose I'll fight that wolf. Let's see here. Nice. <laughs> Throw a rock. Oh wait, I should have gathered. Oops. I love the chase. <laughs> Get him. Okay, I meant to gather. These I'm are good sure can find fights to gather in. see our map right now. I don't think anything will have changed in the maze yet because I know there's a unicorn in the maze where if we fight it we can leave a teleportation stone with it. I think that's the only place we know of yet where we can leave another <laughs> stone. There's still the mines on the map which we haven't gone to yet and I'll check after this battle but we're so close to finishing where all the stones go. <laughs> oh, I got stunned that time. Gather. What do we have here? Ooh, we got two matted furs that time. Nice. Okay. Leave me alone. See, it's not gonna be any different, is it? Well, there are free herbs. No, I just wanted the free herbs. Okay. You wouldn't happen to say anything, would you? Because you. So, uh, Mavis, huh? Oh, but you must be here for my wares. I thought he might say something about the twins, because I think the twins got something from him. Speaking of. Will that be under equipped? Key to her heart. Alright, but I do like that one, but. Ooh, yes. The gift from the High Queen will aid Monk. Oh, wow. Huh. Monku will aid whoever holds the beacon. So I guess we summon her as like a companion fighter? This is what we got from the twins. Ooh, let's the way we gain more XP at the cost of more damage taken. So if I'm fighting wolves or such, that would be really useful, just to level up characters. Huh. I really like having the key to the heart for Vera, but I wonder if Monku would be good for another character? Let's see. Sword attacks become water. Your shield can convert incoming water into healing. Oh yes. I forgot we have this. If we ever fight the succubus again or something. I'm curious to see what Monku Strike would be like. And then I assume... Yeah, the recipe looks good for you. Okay, cool. Just want to see how many more. So we have the mines. Yeah, that's it. Just the mines and the emerald maze. As I thought. Cool. Wait, I thought I put something at the mines. Oh, sorry, South Hill. The mines are up north. South Hill is somewhere we have not been yet. That's where the last one goes. Okay, we're good. Ready to call it a day. That was quite a day. I don't know what I would do for a warm bath and some fruit. Welcome back. The carpenter installed a hidden bed in Pinky's office in record time. So you- and you didn't even tip him. I couldn't. The detective bled me dry. 
Fluffy actually does what she sets out to do. So do we. It's scary. We met someone out of this world today. Reniel, no. In the arena, and we won! I breathe a sigh of relief. Yes, that exhibition match is going to bring us a lot of fans. Fans or potential clients. We talk about our day over dinner. Celia smirks like the fox that got the cream, happy to share a secret with us. Then, we hear a knock and the front door opens. Hey, your visits are becoming daily. That's a nice surprise. I'm actually here for work. Wait, you belong to Reapers Lycoris. Lyra nods. As one of the top guilds, Fluffy hired them to investigate Valentine O'Neill. Lyra's mouth hangs open. The man you want me to track down is Valentine O'Neill. You know him. I'm a big f- What the hell is he doing here? Now wait a bloody second. You are from my world. Oh no, she's mad. How? Why didn't you tell me? We never explicitly mentioned it to her. I don't think... Do you know how to get back? If she knew, would she be here? Ask one more question and I'm bailing. Tear's hands ball into fists and her mouth turns into a thin line. Very well. You want to be difficult? Have it your way. Mention Earth one time and I'm out. That's my condition. If you accept my terms, tell me the reason you need to track him down. Harsh. Sunny shows Lyra the glowy rectangle. Hmm. Are you also losing your memories the longer you stay here? I show Lyra the sketch of Valentine that we took from the soldier. He's a charm wizard, apparently. Of course he is. Hmm. His hair. Those highlights don't suit him at all. What have you done to him? I didn't do anything. Valentine O'Neill dragged into this world. It's a lot to take in, but I will find him. Perhaps we can convince Lyra to stay and spill the beans. I need to spin the offer carefully. You could turn your business visit into one for pleasure. Tempting. Thank you for the offer. Yet she leaves. As soon as the door closes, Taya mumbles some profanities and stomps upstairs. Poor kitty. Hmm. Where is everyone? I keep forgetting why that glows. Oh, Taya's diary, yes. The page is filled with geometric doodles and weird descriptions like kettle, boil water, microwave, warm food, and phone equals life. I wonder what she means. <laughs> Achievement unlocked, I hope she won't mind. I wouldn't do that in real life, but in a video game, I am curious. And I never intended them to be so resilient. Oh, Vera. Oh, what is Tam doing here? She looks quite flustered. Good morning. Brightway has been invaded by chocolate boars. Go and liberate it. Beg your pardon. Tam had another kaboom in the kitchen. Kaboom implies an accident. This was intentional. I wanted to surprise my Addy, but setting foot in Brightway is something I just can't do. So I decided to turn the chocolates into golems, gave them the round shape of a boar and enough intelligence to understand basic commands. And they somehow became aggressive. Indeed. Can you still eat them after they splat? Brightway is really sandy. You, Sandy, wait, Celia. <laughs> God, I'm getting tired. You, Sandy Chocolate. That sounded very British. Sorry, Celia. I don't know what could have gone wrong, but they went berserk. Addy is fending them off, but I can't bear the thought of him fighting them all by himself. We will liberate Brightway from the... Uh, Choco Boys. You have my word. 
Editia drops his weapon, a giant halberd, on the ground. <sighs> that one had no gut feeling. My favorite. Sir, how's the situation? Oh, the five girls, one ghost. My Tammy sent you here, did she not? Carrie had the day off, so I had to step in personally. Her substitute fled the village when she saw the boars approach. Are the villagers safe? That's what I would like to know as well. I'll tell you what. How about two of you join me and the others check on the buildings? Other checks. Oh, two of you join me. The other checks on the buildings. Sounds good to us. Who should stay out of trouble and make sure the villagers are safe? Um, maybe Sunny. I'll make sure nobody's hurt. <clears throat> Let's fix this mess. Oh, I'm fighting with him now. I thought it was going to be two of us against the boars, but he's joining us as a third. Whoops, maybe I should have kept Sunny. But that's okay, because Vera can heal too. <laughs> cool. <coughs> the tea <coughs> went down the wrong way. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we're going to fight some boars and we'll wrap up after the boar fights. Fight me. What do we have here? <laughs> These boys look kind of cute. Ooh, yes, we have the new thingamaburb for Reniel. Cool. What do you have? Battle Master, what does that do? Taunt. Lowers his defense and resilience. Hits all enemies. Oh, and it heals you. Let's do it on this side. Whoa, that was good. Maybe we should go for the one that's not snowed right now. <laughs> Dreams of trouble. What? Why? Okay. We can do it. Thrust. It's probably gonna unstun him, but that's okay. Oh no, he's still stunned. Nice. Let's let the other one sleep. And get him. <laughs> nice. You're wide open. <laughs> Whoa, that was strong. Sean. <laughs> we got hot chocolate. I wouldn't mind a cup of hot chocolate right now. That one was filled with strawberry syrup. And hot chocolate, apparently. It's filled with nougat. My favorite. <sighs> so disappointed. Like, if only I could eat them. I can do it! Well, I suppose we can eat them. They're just gonna be sandy. Sandy chocolate doesn't sound like pleasant chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for this one. Cool, now this feels like overkill. How naughty. Just like that. <coughs> oh, come on. Reniel, wake up, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it totally healed him, though. You're wide open. Ouch, I meant to do the other one. No, no, that's not what I meant to do. I can do it. <laughs> If you have any healing to spare, I would appreciate it. Oh, 
death. If you have any healing to spare, I would appreciate it. <laughs> nice. Huh. Okay, might as well use one of our potions on our helper. Okay. I hope that's the last pig. What do we have here? We have chocolate we pigs. Let's see here. Oh, I forgot this thing heals him. Nice. Maybe we should go uh, attack everything at once route. Stop. I won't might as well heal him. Stop falling asleep. Oh, he only has 10 MP left. Oh well. Nope, keep fighting. This guy. Huh. Running out of juice. Oof. <laughs> Ooh, we almost got him. I thought it was Vera's turn oh. next. I need to heal. Whew, okay. Oh dear. Hmm. Might as well let them sleep and charge up. Go, go, go! Keep sleeping, little okay. pigs. And now we're ready to go crazy. <clears throat> nice. huh. <laughs> 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 oh, whoops. We'll do this one. I'm ready. Hmm, only hit twice. I think that attack is random. It has the potential to hit five times, but it at least hits twice. Nice. Ooh, we got hot chocolate and a chocolate bar. Aditya sighs and drops his heavy weapon on the ground. They look delicious. What a waste. First the flans, now the boars. Tammy tries her best, but her culinary experiments are hazards. I can relate to her struggles. Your smoked fish never threatened anyone. For now. Tam mentioned that she turned the boars into golems. To have them come to me, yes. It's not safe for her to visit. She is terrified of right way. Too many bad memories, too many nightmares. It's because of the day of the storm, the tragedy that she could not stop. That's why I visit her instead, as often as I can. The arrangement is certainly unique. We could have delivered the chocolates to you. I hope she'll consider your services next time. Come, let's go back to the guild. She must be racked with guilt. Addie, Tammy. I thought you had to work today. Well, I'm the manager. It's Brightway on my... She cuts him off with a kiss. How bold in front of us. My heart is fluttering for them. Taya loudly clears her throat. Ah, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but of course, here is your reward, darlings. Now, if you'll excuse us. You received an array of sweets. A spicy old couple. You don't see those every day. They are so in love with each other. That's why their living arrangements puzzle me. <coughs> Excuse me, the tea still tickles my throat. That should not concern you. We can't help being curious. 
They look really in love, but Aditya works in a place that spooks Tam. Weird. I imagine that, as Brightway's manager, he has certain duties to uphold that make him stay there. Busy bodies. You secretly like the gossip, too. Well, speaking of gossip, where's the sparkles? I'm here, and I never gossip. He feels shy around Tam, considering the whole pooping on her cape habit he had when he was a parrot. I'm not too surprised. You have the hottest lid in town, don't you? I do? She means the quest. Oh, right. You have quite a lot today. Tam's brother wants to have a chat with you. He's in town. Back in Siana, Sienna, Siana, Alicia and Fern have heard some howls coming from the mansion and want you to look into it. Leon is looking for assistance, and Florel's mare needs your help. The place is infested with rabid oozes. Uh, it's not our fault, right? If the place is the spa, yes, it's our fault. There's also someone who sent us a distress call from one of the houses in the farmlands. Which one? The one that's always locked, it says, by the Pacal house. A distress call sounds critical. Make sure to get to the bottom of it. There's something off about Meow. Pinky, keep the tele orb in your office. I need to do something upstairs. I can't use it if I have a client. Figure something out. Let us talk to Celia. I greet Celia with a smile. That fluffy work but also keep an eye on Vera and the others for me. She trusts you, when you put it like that. Anyway, any pointers for today? Celia looks ready to please. Let's say work hard? I think she's promoted her services enough. Understood. Since Taya's not feeling well, I guess you can report everything to me? You still have to clear Florel's spa from the aggressive oozes. Okay, let's see if we can talk to Taya. Taya, I read your diary, I hope you don't mind. If she's right there, she could stop me, right? I've read your diary, now you know. I'm being honest with you. <laughs> How are you feeling? I read your diary, dear. It's rather cute. I don't understand any of it. I feel better. Don't push yourself. Take the day off if you need it. Okay, so she's just not feeling well. Interesting. I wonder if she's just tired or if maybe at the end of the day we'll learn some more. But in the meantime... I'm just gonna glance at the quest, but we'll do them next time. So, a house in the farmlands, the <laughs> menacing bath bombs, the oozes. Oh yeah, the mansion in Siena, Siena. And Leon needs our help. <laughs> I love Leon, I'm curious <laughs> what the follow-up will be. But we shall end here for today. Okay. Cool. So I hope the sound balance was better today. I'll <clears throat> listen to the recording, see if I'm pleased. Although we didn't get any of the voice actors in this particular day that we just played. So I, I can't tell for sure if the sound balance is exactly as I want it, because we didn't hear any voice acting. But hopefully next time we'll polish it off more. I feel like I'm slowly but surely getting the hang of sound balancing with the game versus my voice. But with that, we'll wrap up here. Until next time, and I hope you enjoyed.